What we're going to be covering in this demonstration is how to create a balance sheet with a monthly fiscal period view. Now the reason why we have to do a custom version of this is because there are some limitations in NetSuite when we try to use the column field and select accounting period. If I run that, so I'm going to hit refresh, what I'm going to get is every single accounting period since the start of the NetSuite um, instance. So here in this particular example, it's now giving me a column for every fiscal period from November 2018 up until today's current date. And that's not what I want. If I try to use some of the out of the box quick filters, none of them really align to what I want to see in terms of the fiscal periods. So what we do is change this back to total, hit refresh, and now we're going to hit the customize button. And what we're going to do here is click on the edit columns button, and this right here, this green um, highlight. This is right now November 2023 balance. So what I'm going to do is start to build this out and I'm going to select amount from the financial subfolder and click on it and I'm going to move it over to the left. So this is now here and what I'm going to do is under alternate period range type select relative to today's date. Under period I'm going to select custom and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to set this to January 2023. And I'm going to now repeat this process for every month up until current. So again, custom February. Click on amount again, move it to the left, today's date, custom March. And I will continue and I continue to select move left so that I have my data in chronological order starting with oldest to the left and most current to the right. April amount left relative to today's date custom May again move it to the left today's date custom in June and we are almost there left today custom July keep going today's date custom August amount left today's date custom September left today's date <laughs> we're getting there custom October and I'm going to rename this now as monthly balance sheet and I'm going to say save and we're going to take a look and see how this loads and make sure that my sequence is in order And so I'm going to confirm that the chronological order of my periods works January through to November and that's great. And so now I have a chronological balance sheet by fiscal period that I can customize as I wish and use it moving forward. And again, there's numerous reasons why I do get asked by clients to create these and that's usually after they've gone ahead run the out of the box balance sheet and found that some of the filters that do exist don't really meet their requirements for whatever type of reporting they need. And so this is just a quick way for me to show you how you can build this and drive this yourself. If you would like the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this, if the video was a little too quick or you just want to keep them handy, please follow the link below um, in the title of the video you're watching. Thanks so much.